Hello traders, welcome to Allies Blue. This is Stephen Gogoi, technical analyst. And in this video, I'll discuss about crude oil. And one thing you always remember, if you want to be a profitable trader, so you must have a trading system, which is uh, I explained in Mumbai seminar. So in a trading system, there is three quality you have to develop. One trading strategy. Next position sizing third psychology there is a various type of psychology what type of uh, profitable trader has psychology and a loser psychology right i explained in uh, mumbai seminar right so you must develop three things right now you can see this is a daily chart according to the daily chart the price is still running in a downtrend cool right so why price is running in a downtrend now you can see this uh, 50 moving average which is red is still running below 150 moving average have you seen this one this is 150 moving average and uh, this red is uh, 50 moving average they are running you can see here this is uh, 150 is running above this uh, 150 right so next you can see uh, moving average uh, in a 4 hour chart like uh, let me check it 4 hour chart so now we can see in a 4 hour chart also uh, the price is running below this moving average you can see uh, 50 moving average and this is 150 moving average still running uh, below right so it is confirming that trend is still uh, running in a downtrend right so if you want to see here let me check in the daily chart so daily chart you can see uh, price creating lower low right lower low this is the lower low lower low lower low lower low continuously they are creating lower low right and here you can see they have given a retracement here and there was 200 exponential moving average and placing a strong resistance are there and from there price just falling right so once they break this level if the price break this level uh 4170 right so 4170 once they break this level so we'll confirm that trend is up right but remember uh, in a large time frame uh, the trend is still running in a downtrend now you can see yesterday you can see price just pulled down right from this uh, resistance line now you can see here in a four hour chart here was a resistance line right here was a resistance line so if you see uh, in daily chart so you'll find some support like that support support and a resistance like that uh, this line like that right so you can see this line uh, just a minute sorry uh, this is uh, like that so they are forming a strong support and resistance somewhere here like uh, here right so this line so here you can see uh, below this resistance line we have seen a inverted hammer here right inverted hammer we have seen in a four hour chart and after breaking this lower point price just fell down right and they broke this uh, supporting line and after that they retraced toward just prices now we can see prices just pulling down toward this supporting line and now it's becoming a resistance line right have you seen this is the resistance line remember uh, in the large time frame trend is down right and small time frame trend is up so here we can see small time frame and the trend is up a little more right now we have seen this is a resistance line right now so what is our trading uh, plan so let me show you another thing here another thing so here you can see let me draw another have you seen this is a higher point right have you seen uh, this is the higher point right this is previous higher point have you seen this is higher point and uh, somewhere this was a higher point and this was a support and uh, this is a support have you seen so now is our trading plan in a downtrend we'll take only sell position right so in that case we have to go uh, in a small time frame like 15 now in a 15 minute you um, have you seen the creating lower low right and they broke this 200 level this is lower lower high creating lower low right lower high lower low lower high lower low and creating new lower 
uh, high, right? So it is a high probability to price again uh, continue the trend toward downside, right? Because trend is running in a downtrend, and then now you can see in a small time frame they are creating a lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high in a small time frame. Now you can see we have seen here a sell opportunity, right? So that is why you always follow uh, maintain the money management, right? So here you can see um, this is our another supporting point, uh, sorry, resistance point. In that case, if you want to enter for the sell direction in this area, right? So our SL will be here, somewhere here, right? Somewhere here. And the target will be somewhere here, like a previous lower point. Now let's check it, uh, the total point here. Suppose here we have seen uh, 30, 40, almost 50 point is showing SL and the target is showing 80 point. So that means your trading ratio will be 1 is to 1.1, right? So let me tell you, trading ratio 1 is to 1.5, right? It will be your trading ratio, right? So that means SL will be here, target will be here, somewhere here, right? So now question is that what trading strategy we gonna use here right let me explain here so this is called uh, bouncing trading strategy so this is called moving average bouncing trading strategy so have you seen once break this uh, level of 150 have you seen oh sorry this is a hundred exponential moving average so price retraced uh, toward hundred uh, exponential moving average and price just bounce right again you can see there is that area so again there bounce from that area so now exactly you can see the price is near moving average 100 so have you seen this was bounce bounce so bounce so it is a high probability to bounce again from this moving average right that is why you can say this is called sell entry so our sl will be here and the target will be here somewhere here somewhere near in this area somewhere just below so because they are creating new a lower low so that is why we are expecting they must uh, they may create a new lower low or you can close your position here previous lower point right so how you will do the money management here suppose you have uh, 50,000 right uh, so in that case you want to go uh, you want to take 2% uh, risk or 3% risk right so let me explain that uh, formula right here is the formula you can uh, you can see here uh, number of lot suppose uh, if you want to enter there like uh, uh, how many lot you can go for buy suppose you are going to take three percent risk at a amount so here you can see this is a three percent risk you want to go going to take uh, like a risk right uh, into uh, total capital suppose if you have total capital one leg right one leg right and here you can see risk per lot so suppose if you want to take we have seen there is a 50 per uh, 50 point are showing sl right so how many point you gonna take uh, risk right uh, value per pip the so crude oil is running 10 right 10 now you can see here why i'm uh, placing here 50 okay i'll i'll, I'll explain okay so suppose if you want to enter here so one by one so suppose if you have uh, one lakh money from one lakh you want to take three percent risk in a single trade right three percent don't take more than three percent suppose if you have one lakh money and you want to take three percent risk entire your money so this is three percent and this is your capital to one lakh and 50 50 is suppose uh, why we uh, place 50 here you can see here our SL will be here somewhere, right? Uh, 3980. So here you can see 50 point. I just uh, place SL here. This is 50 point. And you can see that is where I place uh, this 50, right? This 50 is, this is our SL, right? And our target, so here somewhere target. And the 10 is uh, uh, crude oil moving uh, like a price. So suppose here uh, 45, right? Here is showing 36 once 37 goes so it's since 10 point right 10 rupees so that is where we are placing here 
uh, let me calculate so how many lot you can buy here if you want to enter so here you can see 3 uh, divided by 100 so into 1 lakh 1 lakh right so it will be 3000 right somewhere here so let me show you properly so here in above it will be 3000 right okay now we can see here again so i'm calculating everything okay so 50 into 10 so 500 right so let me draw here 500 right 500 so here you can see if we close this one so again and six racing so that means we can buy here oh sorry sell here six lot six lot mini right six lot so this is called position sizing you must know don't buy like uh, uh, buy or sell huge amount of like you have one leg company are giving like 20 times the leverage so you can buy uh, more than 200 300 lot so don't do like that so always follow the money management so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching